World Cup was a success and surprise, surprise, the winner is the now four-time world champion in Jackmania. Carl Jr., welcome back to the channel. First of all, congratulations on once again becoming a world champion in Jackmania. How is life? Yeah, thing like like I said every time I'm I'm in this interview. Thanks for having me and thanks for for the for the kind words. And life is good, man. Life has been good since the World Cup. Mm. Yeah, it's been a while now since the 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 World Cup ended. So can you tell us how has the time been since you won it? Is it like everything is back to normal, or are you still happy? Tell us. Uh, obviously, I'm happy about the title, but I'm more happy about the the World Cup coming back every year because we 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 missed these for the for the past five years, and I don't know. It's good to to have it back, and I can't wait for to participate to participate the, in the LAN event. Hmm. Going into the event, there was this narrative that it's just Cole Jr. is going to go and take it. Uh, you were pretty much the only guy who tried to sort of put a, a little bit of a I don't know little bit of a calm down everything can everybody can win it uh, and to be to be honest you were the guy who was maybe the most correct because already in the first semi-final we saw that a guy like Afi who many people suspect to be the biggest underdog well he was on par with you on the same level he followed mm -hmm. you the, basically the whole match so can you tell us did that surprise you in the first semi-final that you had such a close uh, competitor in Afi? Um, I knew I knew that in the semi-final I actually believed that the that Afi would be the best uh, player excluding me because mm. I, 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 I trained a lot with him and I knew how good he was. But uh, he actually impressed me a lot in the match because every round he was solid, he was there, he was consistent, he was fast and he was just really, really, really good. And I think it, my semifinal was even closer than the final against Pac or, or, or really mm. similar to. So I think if Afi played like he did in the semi-final, he would have uh, gotten a, a good chance at the title. Hmm. But then when you have see that, okay, maybe a player like Afi is surprising you and maybe he's uh, on par with you, are you like starting to get stressed or is it because it's a semi-final and you know that, okay, there are two advancing spots and Aurel and Papu are so far behind that uh, I need to choke finalist mode pretty hard if I'm not going to make it? Yeah, in the semi-final, after... Um... After Afi and I reached the, those uh, 100 points, we were, if my memory is correct, we were both at 109 equal, and Aurel and Papu were both equal at 62. Hmm. At that point, I was like, no stress at all. I just need to, to plus six th those rounds, so just to play safe and just to, to finish first or second. I don't care. The, the, the big result is the grand final anyways. Hmm. So at that point, I was like, okay, and Afi, Afi and I will make it, and I, I'm not really stressed yet. But then there is a grand final. We spoke a little bit beforehand about how nervous are you before an online event like this, and you said pretty much the same as an offline event. How was it, was it before the grand final? Was you nervous, or did the semi-final take some edge off you? Tell us. Yeah, of course I was nervous. I was <laughs> I was really nervous, like uh, probably as much as any LAN events, because I knew I could do it. I knew I could perform really well. I knew I had like on paper I had the edge on almost all maps. My pace was really good on training. So if I lost this this final. It's because I didn't play to my peak potential, and I would hate that, and I would regret that. Mm. So that's why I'm fully nervous before, because I, I want to have no regrets. <laughs> but how much do you follow the other semifinal? Because for people that don't know, you play the first semifinal, then there is a second semifinal before, then you are going to play your grand final. So, well, I usually, in the in the last uh, years of competition, it, it, it doesn't mean much. Because it's only the five maps, and you play the five maps in the shuffle order. But now with the pick and bans, it's it's important to follow what the others do. And you watch the the second semi final. All the players were so so sick on Zazigzag, the map where where Kappa fin against Massa in the insane round. <laughs> So I was like, all right, th this is the map I ban. And I didn't expect me to ban that map at all in this tournament. Mm -hmm. But I had to because they were better than I on the map. But then uh, how did you preview the, the match before the grand final? You're going to play against Afi, who advanced together with you. You're going to play against uh, Pack and Kappa, who are likely your closest rivals the last, let's say, four years in Czechmania. 
Uh, yeah, well, what is the question? Sorry. Yeah, how did you preview the final before it started? Was it oh, like? Um, I the thing is, Afi is the new guy here. He just showed that he can beat me in the semifinal, so I knew he was really solid. Then you have Pack and Kappa, who are momentum players. So if you let them have rounds, you'll regret it because they can just snowball on on their confidence. Let let's it like that. So I was like, all right, I just need to not crash and stay solid the whole match and if i'm there the mistakes will happen so first round i crashed or <laughs> i don't know what happened I, I i was not on the top and and tom did a sick time and i was like no man don't get this momentum not right now and i know how tom works is if he gets the first good round he's right into the match and he's focused to 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 to, to, to beat everybody so i was like oh no this is not a good start <laughs> But then again, we I think we all won we all won one round yep. in the first map, so it was really close and nobody had the momentum. So I was happy about that. Mm. But later on in the match, uh, there was like this moment. I thought you won four rounds. I was like, okay, now Cole Junior has geared up. But then uh, your uh, competitor and friend Thomas Cole, aka Pack, he did the same on the next map. So can you tell people what was your reaction once you saw that? I win four maps or four rounds on the map, and then he basically goes on to do the same on the next map. So, so I had the momentum on, on map two. I won them all, and I was really happy. And I had like already twenty five points lead, and twenty five point is huge in the in the cup mode already. So I'm like, all right, I just need to save my rounds, get those plus six, and with the shot. Well, if Kappa wins, if Pack wins, if Afi, if Afi, if Afi wins. Then it will be fine because I'll always get those plus six and I'll just get to the, my finalist mode uh, uh, like uh, calmly. Mm. But what happens is I play against Thomas Cole and that guy <laughs> is not that bad. So yeah, I saved. Well, I saved. Not really. He just played really, really good and he won them all. And after map three, my lead is gone. I was like, all right, time to restart. <laughs> uh, but uh, was it like a moment, uh, I, I don't know if I asked you this before, but do you watch the other competitors in a match and say like, okay, now it's going to be me versus Pac, or is it still like, you do you even think about who you're up against and how the match itself is playing out, or is it, I just play? I just play, but I know my, my weak maps. Hmm. I don't really care about their, their good maps, the other, but I care about my weak maps. So as soon as I get on my on a weak map, and I'm like, all right, I need to get at least twenty points to to to, to be in this game or something like that. It's just like to give me a minimum of points to get. And when and when I get into a really good map, well, I just um, I just try to 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 get the perfect score. Mm. But but it's really 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 hard, mm. obviously. And tell us, uh, how was that uh, f the moments before the final round started once you won it? Is it like some extra pressure on yourself? Is it like, okay, now it's almost like once the storm is going on the most, some people say it's the most quiet because then you just have to focus. How is it for you? So the thing is, between the rounds you have like 10 sec maximum. So you don't really, you don't really have to think. Hmm. But how the game played is... Um, I had a 121, back at 122, point limit is 140, and there were two two, two rounds left on one of my best map, and I actually won both of them, so that was like critical. So I got 140 at the end of the map. So I had like a one minute of thinking before my first finalist attempt. So what I need to do is think about nothing, mm. like to <laughs> think about nothing, but yeah, it, it didn't happen, so I was like, all right, this round might be 4K, 4K Euros. I might be the next world champ. And in the warm-up, I'm like, like that. Or in five minutes, I'm not. Yeah. And I lose everything. So I really need to think about nothing, but it's really hard. Mm. So what I did, I just played the warm-up and I tried to, to focus my lines, but I was like overthinking already. And I was super nervous. Yeah, because but it, in the yeah. end, it, it worked well. 
Yeah, because uh, the good thing about it, and props to Ubisoft and Deo for actually having the face cams uh, for you guys, that's one of the best things about on, uh, offline events, because then you can see your reactions. And it was clear now, once we had the face cam on you, about how much it meant to you. It was true emotion, it was true celebration. So can you tell people what went through your head once you saw that, okay, yes, I'm the world champion again? So people need to, to, to watch the clip when I win. So... <laughs> As people know, I always check the CP's bottom right. So I don't play with HUD off. I always know where everybody is on. I always check the CP. So at every five sec on the track, I check bottom right and I know where everybody is. So in the end of my finalist round, I checked. I was 0-1 in front of Afi and the two others crashed. And I was like, between the last CP and the finish line, there's a jump where you do nothing. You just wait and you hope to win. And when I was in the air, I was like, <laughs> it. that time, it, it felt like 30 minutes. It was so long before <laughs> I got to the CPs into the finish. And when I and when I realized I won, well, I was super, super happy because get me out of this match, man. I'm pl <laughs> I need to finish a finalist round against three really fast players. Mm. It's it's really hard. And when I did it, I'm like, this is done, man. I'm so happy. Mm. Uh, and I did this uh, achievement list for you once you won Check Me in the Grand League Winter 2021. Then I included all of your podium places, but this time I didn't have enough space uh, on Twitter, so I only have to do the sort of winning list. But if you are to look at that long list of big wins about big titles, where would you place an event like this? It's the World Cup, but it's also the first online World Cup in the history of Check Mania. Um, it, it, felt, it felt like my first, actually. Because it's been so long since we didn't have these. And in 2016, I got second uh, behind them. And in 2018, I got third behind uh, Martin and Marek. So it, it was a really long time since we first didn't play a World Cup. And since I, nev I won a World Cup. So it really felt like uh, my worst World Cup. Even if it was online. Because the, the level was super hard. It uh, was super high, sorry. And it was really difficult to, to win this. And I'm pretty sure it was the best level I've seen myself and Tom in, in a final, at least. Mm. Like, we've never been this good, in my opinion. Yeah, the people who said, uh, let's say, two months ago that there was no hype for the World Cup coming back, well, they look like clowns now because that was really hype. I mean, I love the group stage format. It uh, brought up some hype, and then you had the week to actually yeah. build up even more hype. It's not like only two days and then everything is over. Now you have sort of this feeling about one stage, next stage, and then everything is settled. Uh, but actually, like, huge, huge props to Nadeo. To, uh, to come with this uh, group stage system. Because mm. at the start, it was not supposed to be like that, and it was a bit horrible. And they just came with that, like to do those four rounds with the uh, seeds, and then we, we reseed everybody. And I think this group stage is super, super sick mm. to play in. And if we have that in a LAN event, man, it'd be super sick <laughs> like i i can't wait for that to happen and yeah props to them it it was a really really nice format mm. uh, and it's safe to say that you want to have the world cup coming back next year and not, not only having to wait three more years yeah well i, I really hope so and i really <laughs> hope we will have a LAN. Yeah, yeah i really hope it will be <laughs> offline so yeah but it's, it's a good time in Trackmania. Uh, it's a big event coming up just around the corner. Uh, also an event that I hoped would be offline, but once again, Serator had to host this edition online. This is the time for the first time in a trio format. And I have to be honest, I'm really surprised once I saw your trio. And I hope that other uh, pro players would follow that example after I saw, I think you were pretty much the first guys to announce it. But the other people, they stack up their lineup. But meanwhile, it's you, it's Bren arguably the two most, uh, let's say, decorated players at this cup. And then you have a French streamer, Kenny, who doesn't play Czech Mania competitive. So tell people, yeah. why did you think about including a guy who is not a competitive player, who is not on the level, let's say, Gwen, Papu, or Rel? So there, there are a lot of, uh, of reasons behind that pick. At the start, it was supposed to be uh, Bren, myself, and and Gwen, mm. but like we we, I don't want to be cocky, but I really think if we had that team and if we 
all no life for the cup, it would have been a no match, mm -hmm. and I I think it would have been boring. Uh, so so what we did is is we just took a friend, a streamer that that is good at the game, not insane. He he'll get crushed by the pro players, but he's he's really decent, and we'll just play it for fun, mm -hmm. and. Like, you know, there are a lot of reasons behind that choice because it's online first, it's 3v3. For us, the win doesn't mean much since it's a 3v3. You know, it's not as prestigious as, as winning a solo event or even a, a 2v2. Mm. And the cash price is, is low because it's a ZRT Cup and it's a show more than a competition. And there, there were a few reasons that I won't tell, obviously, but, but like some of the... Are, are the main ones and yeah we'll just play it for fun and after the world cup well i'm really tired first because i i really train hard for the world cup and i just want to chill a bit but i i do chill in my streaming i train uh, on stream to, to to chill with my viewers and nothing more i don't train offline like i should do and i just i just want to have fun this mm. cup and i we don't aim the win so it's not it's safe to say that uh, the Carl Jr. at a normal CRT is not going to happen now. You're not going to train so hard like you did in 2019, uh, 2018, etc. I I train a lot still because mm. I stream a lot. Like I do all my 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 training on stream, but it's not as um, as effective as as offline stream. Like uh, uh, offline uh, training, sorry. Mm. So usually what I do is I, I train a lot with Brand, even if it's in solo, because we, we complete each other well. And so we stream a lot. Then one day, like I, I'd, say, I'd say three days a week, we, we do offline, sh offline training and we, we, we check what is good and what is bad about the inputs that we're doing. And this year we won't do, we won't do that at all. We'll just play on stream and we'll try to reach the We'll we'll try to, to to go as far as possible in the tournament, but we we didn't try hard those lines. Like everything we do on stream, it's our lines. Mm. We don't hide anything. <laughs> we'll we'll just go like that. Mm. I remember the first interview I did with Rater. It was after a two v two cup, and I asked him about why he made a decision to do it because then you had the the consequence of you uh, partnering with Brand, and people saw that as a complete. Uh, it was like a overpowered team, even though it was a close final in the end. But have we talked to you about the three v three format before, like it did with the two v two format, uh, or was this basically a, a surprise for you as well? Oh, it's definitely a surprise. I didn't even know there there was a team cup, and I <laughs> learned it like two hours after the the announce because I was not watching the, the the final stream on the Zealand. So I was as surprised as everybody, and I actually never expected a three v three. Like if if somebody asked me that like six months ago, I was uh, I would say like you're lying, man. It's impossible. <laughs> but it is, and yeah, the the finals will be super close. Even though I don't think there are a lot of of strong teams mm. uh, to to challenge the big Gwen Orel Papu one, so but but I hope it will it won't be a no match and how the format is I think there will be like six finalists together yeah so so we'll see about that but but yeah mm. the I think there are maximum four big teams in this tournament mm. yeah I'm gonna uh, make a tier list uh, out of these three or a b three man's teams. Can you help me out if you are to say who is, of course, the winning candidate? You already mentioned it, but if you are to mention some other teams besides Gwen, Orel, and Papu, and where um, where should we yeah. place Cole Jr., Brennan, and Kenny? Okay, all right. So our objective is, uh, well, at least mine, I I, I don't know about Kenny or Bren, <laughs> but I think mine is to do well in the quarterfinals. So... If we reach the semi-final, I think it would be huge as fuck, mm. like to, to reach that nine. I don't think it's it's doable, but but we'll, we'll give our best. But my goal is to do the best in the quarterfinal. Mm. So that's it. I, I place myself between top nine and top 81, but, <laughs> but more close to the top nine, okay. obviously. And uh, I think the, the, the best team to, to give um, Gwen's team some... Um, some stress is a uh, is a uh, glass duffel and snow mm. and i think i think they they are the one who can maybe challenge them in the end mm. with uh with bing's team mm. 
uh, someone commented on my Twitter once it was announced that now it's clear that the Serato Cup is more of a show rather than maybe an eSport tournament. Do you think that this event will be more of a show rather than an eSport tournament? Because if you are to go back to the, the solo cups you have won, it's both. It's not like only show. It's still one of the most prestigious tournaments in Trackmania. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's one of the most prestigious tournaments because it's hard to win. Hmm. But but it's a show. Like, hmm. it it has always been a show and it will always be. That's why the, the cash price is low. Hmm. And Zara knows it. It's it's a show, man. It, it needs, like, we want to have fun. But since <laughs> everybody try hard, now it's really hard to win. And that's why we the, the, the tournament becomes uh, a prestige. A final question for me, now we saw Ubisoft on there, at least giving some sort of statement about this cheating scandal that has been uh, overshadowing, is maybe the wrong word, but at least affecting our community. Uh, can you tell people how much of this do you have to deal with? I see Massa saying that streamers get constantly asked about what do you think, what should the consequences be, do you think Riolo will play in the next season? How much have you followed? Uh, how much are you impacted by this? Yeah, I fo- I followed everything. I didn't know, like I didn't expect anything at all before it went live. I didn't even know you could cheat in this game. Like, well, <laughs> n- like uh, yeah. to, to to do um, like not obvious cheats. <laughs> so I was really surprised, and well, I I really hate cheaters. Mm. So I don't think they they should be allowed to to, to keep playing at least. Mm. And yeah, I believe a statement from Nadio would have been good. And a statement from TNG, TMGL would have been good to to clear uh, what what will be the last spot in TMGL. We need to know ASAP, and uh, I think I think they should do a statement. Yeah, mm. because at the moment, if you are a casual fan and you, you haven't even seen that, you know that Riolo is accused pretty hard of cheating, but you still haven't seen that he is out of Checkmate and Grand League. He still there still hasn't been an official statement that. Riolo we c- could pr- probably have played open qualifier at least from an uh, official standpoint. Maybe something else is said behind the doors. But do you think that this should be more publicly communicated that we have made this statement, we have done these decisions to more clarify a situation that many people are surprised and confused by? Well, I, I think they want to protect their their players, even if they, they cheated. Because like, if they, they do public statement, there will be... And they didn't, um, they didn't uh, say they cheated. So I think they let the chance to the players to come forward before they do. But it's been a long time, and I hope we'll have something clear at least for TMGL because it's it's the huge division one of Trackmania. So people follow that now, and it's getting more professional. And I think I think we need to know, yeah. Mm. Uh, well, it's been now over 20 minutes. It's too much fun talking with you, even though now the last months it's been a lot of interviews with you. So I just want to once again say congratulations on winning a world title. I hope next year you will have a chance to win it for a fifth time. Not because I'm such a fan of you, but I want to see the World Cup again. And then maybe we can have a surprise of the year in you and Brent carrying Kenny to uh, lift the trophy in the set of T. Trackmania uh, no, Cup 2021. It's possible. Don't get the hype. It's, it's, it's going to be <laughs> finalist Fiesta and Kenny is going to pull it off on some of the matches. It's gonna be right, well, if you Fiesta. believe in Kenny, I believe in Kenny. <laughs> so, so, okay, we'll win this RT oh, There you have it. It's not the best <laughs> player who's going to win. It's Kenny who's going to win. There we have it. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for having me, Rick. <laughs> Thanks, man. See ya.